Guess who's back? Stevie DVD, in VR 4K HD, UHD, and 360. I've done a video on an unboxing on this Binatone full HD camera. Someone's asked me, can I do a video on how to watch the videos back? So what you do need is an SD card, which goes in the bottom there. 32 gig is the maximum I believe this can use. If you put it in the menu on 720p resolution, you can get about nine hours before it loops over and starts deleting the first video because it does have loop record, continuous recording. Also, you plug it into the 12 volt cigarette lighter in your car and you can have it to parking mode where it's got a G sensor in it and if it gets a knock, it'll start recording. I haven't tried or tested that out yet. But today I'm gonna to show you how to look at your videos and photos that you've taken on this. As I say, SD card's gotta be in there. You can plug it into your computer by that and do it in a big window and folders and easily do it like that. Select what video you wanna play and play it. Um, but if you wanna do it on the device, this is how you do it. Turn it on. Okay, it's on and it's recording. I've got mine set to record as soon as I turn the ignition on, this starts recording. So as soon as it turns on, it starts recording. Now, I've just got to stop it recording by pressing OK. Got two scroll buttons here, one down, one up, then OK. Then you've got your settings there and mode there. Now, if I go into mode, now what I will do, I'll go back into recording mode. Right, I'm recording, the red light's flashing. While you're on the move and this is in the car, you've got a microphone now. You can mute it or unmute it just by quick tapping this end scroll button. So when you're on the move, you're having a conversation you don't want anyone maybe to listen to, you can just mute it like that. Also, if you're going along and they're saying, you think, oh, this is another good point. If something happens while you're going along, I've got the timestamp all set and the date. If you're going along and something happens and you try and remember what time it happened to look back later at your footage, you can always just press this button here and it'll take a photo. And in that photo, it'll have the timestamps. So you can look at your photo and you go, oh yeah, it was that time and it was there and you can look back later for your file or your recording. Okay, so that's recording, right. To play your videos back and look at your videos, you've got to stop recording. You stop recording. No, I'm recording now. I can't hit the mode button and look at my photos while I'm recording. It won't let me do it. I've got to press OK and stop recording. Now I go into the mode button. Scroll, press OK and it'll play my video. It's okay again to stop it. Scroll to the next videos and just play away. Oh, was stationary there by looks of things. No, I am moving again. Okay, this is night mode. I'm playing it on my PC. It's at 720 and there is literally no street lighting at all. And it is raining hard, so this is extreme. And it's not doing too bad, I don't think. That is the only night footage I've got, I'm afraid, at the moment. So I thought I'd share that with you. That's how you, you use the camera. There's the night mode on it. It's not too bad. Acceptable, it only cost me £39.99, so great value.
great value. And this is in 720, as I say, because I can get nine hours on the 720 resolution. Anyway, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.